Hey guys, Rick Denham here. It's the end of July and this is the perfect time to start thinking pink salmon. They've been showing up in Puget Sound already for the last few weeks, but the run is starting to build every day and it's time to get your gear ready to go target these great fish. I love the pinks. It's a lot of fun guys. Get a lot of new people out and in on some salmon action. You really can't go wrong. So I'm going to break down a little bit today on the gear you need to get started off the beach. Now what's great about pink salmon is you don't need a whole lot of gear and it can be really easy to get started. So let's take a look at some of the options out there to help you get into some great action. Now we'll go left to right here have some options that you can throw off the bank from hard heavy jigs, crippled herrings, max sonic bait fish and as you work your way you have your buzz bombs your wicked lures, hoochie twitching jigs, and your old standby buzz bombs. But I'll break down for you what I like to throw in the given situations. These dart style jigs work great off the piers. Now, the sizes though, if I'm off the beach, I just downscale a little bit. These are half ounce size, this is a three quarter, and this is a three quarter. Now, the three quarter or to an ounce size allows you to cast further but off the beach you have to be careful not to let your bait sink too much because you are in a shallower area. But the half ounce size can give you more action. So you guys have to kind of play with what you're comfortable throwing and being able to use. So I like these dart style jigs based on their action. I like to bend, this is a, a flutter jig in particular that I pour up, I like to bend the lead just a little bit. This gives this bait a little bit more action on the flutter drop. Same with these Cabela's jigs. You can just slightly bend them and as you jig them through the water column they will give a little bit more action. Now these Sonic bait fish in particular are something I'm trying out more this year. It's a great opportunity to get these baits in the water but these have a flat profile which really helps flutter when they're dropped and I'll tell you what guys I've already had some good success on all of these so it's a really good opportunity now the traditional pink salmon lure when people think are the buzz bombs and we have our old school style which works great throw a little hoochie skirt on the end of that catching a lot of fish they even have the small half ounce size works really well too but to be honest with you, times are changing and there's some new stuff on the market, if you aren't aware of it, that really will help you catch more fish than the old style. That is the rotator that I have in front of me. The rotator is a buzz bomb style type, but it has a f wider profile as well as a more slender width. This gives a very nice wobble action and flutters as the jig is dropped. So I have a lot more success fishing these, but really guys, it's confidence because I know a lot of guys fish the normal buzz bombs and do really well. So whatever your preference is, but I find that you can get more action with these. You can even just straight reel these in, not even jerking at all, and this will twitch back and forth as it comes in to you. So that's an option, but you know what? At any rate, whatever I'm using, you'll notice they all have hoochie skirts on the end of the hooks. I have found that if you add a little bit extra to each of your jigs, you're going to find a lot more success because it adds more action to the bait profile as well as color. So what I like to do is I take a one aught VNC sidewash hook with a size 7 rolling swivel and that will give me a good profile especially when using with the buzz bombs to throw now the next step I then take is whoops, half out or sorry half one and a half inch hoochie king squid skirt I thread that up and over small barrel swivel 
and the big eye of the siwash helps keep this whole thing on. Now you can throw this squid skirt on anything. You look for my buzz bombs. I have these already all rigged up, but I had the same hook rig set up with my flutter jig, with the Cabela's jig, even if I wanted the cripple herring or the sonic bait fish. Could do the same thing. So I really like setting these up that way. It makes it easy to have about a half a dozen or so, if not more, extras rigged up in your box because when you are fishing buzz bombs, it's just a straight tie knot, thread a bead on, you're good to go. I would recommend if you are going to throw a buzz bomb to keep everything on its own swivel rig. Just that way, as this rotates and spins, there isn't any question that it's going to get tangled up on your line. Another option to throw, if you don't like wearing your arm out all day casting buzz bombs, can throw just your normal twitching jig like you would in the rivers. They work great in the salt too, guys. You can keep a great horizontal presentation because you don't have as much lead that's jigging through the water column. So this works really well in the shallow beach areas when you're finding schooling fish. I do well with that. Lately though, however, the Wicked Lure has been my go-to. I've caught fish on the buzz bombs, don't get me wrong, but these Wicked Lures are something else. The action that they put out in the water really draws in the attention of the fish and guys, you can keep this in the same horizontal presentation while still getting more action than the buzz bomb. And frankly, you're going to call on fish from all over the place. My first cast the other day hit one. Second cast got a second one. Guys, it's pretty incredible watching these fish chase these baits right to your feet. So you have a lot of options out there from the wicked lures, your buzz bombs, jigs, to your normal dart styles. They all are effective, it's really preference, but give some of these a try and don't be afraid to try something different color wise. You'll see a lot of pinks being thrown out there, but pink and white work really well. And surprisingly enough guys, try some green. Everybody's throwing pink. When you throw green, you never know what you might find. Getting a silver maybe, but also the tension of some of those other pinks that's seen all the other gear. So that's some of the lure breakdown. Let's take a look at what we have for rod selection. Now for pinks, generally they're going to run three to five pounds. You're not going to see too many heavy pinks until you get later in the season. But that being said, I like throwing a little bit heavier gear from time to time depending on where I'm at. Especially, so my setup here for the Wicked is a nine foot six 8-12 to 12 fast action St. Croix paired up with a 4000 series Seferos reel and that's just got 10 pound test line. It allows me with that reel to be able to cast pretty far and far and really get out to those fish where I see them jumping. Now the longer rod gives you better play also it has more line control so I have this wicked setup with a 3 foot leader to a Dave's Tangle Free off of a rolling drop swivel and a dual lock snap. And this works really well, like I said, caught a lot of fish already on it. My second rod has a Sonic Bait Fish setup, and this is a Cabela's Whipping Stick. It's a 6 to 15 weight line, and it's a 7 foot rod. Great little backup humpy rod, spooled up with a 2500 series Cabela's Pro Guide reel and 8 pound test line. So really guys, it's a matter of whatever gear you have will work. Make sure it can hold up to you casting some of these heavier weights like the buzz bombs or your jigs. But really guys, it's a matter of just getting out, paying attention to your tides. You're going to have a lot more success with the tides right near high tide. So I fish an hour before, an hour after. When you get tidal movement, you're going to get bait fish moving as well as the fish. So... Give it a try out there guys, like I said it's the, the end of July here, the only run's going to get better from here on out, so good luck on the water, hope this helps, going to do a little fly fishing intro next, so take care, fish on. Hey guys, thanks for watching today, hope you really enjoyed this video and learned a lot. This is Rick Denham with Holy Moly Outdoors signing off, if you want to see more, please like and subscribe to my channel, and take a look at the videos playing above. 
Lots more information and instructional videos to come. Thanks for watching, guys. Tight lines. Good luck on the water. Fish on.